What's up guys? I think the editing of my videos has gotten a lot better. I'm very proud of where it is now. I really, really, really appreciate the support and kind words you guys have. Sadly, with that said, my YouTube is a net loss and I'd love to be able to pay my editor and thumbnail designer like what they're worth in terms of making content for this channel. So I am relaunching my Patreon. I am not gonna lock any content behind the Patreon. That is a promise. There will be a little perk though, you know, like polls in the Patreon for future content, special roles in my Discord and Twitch, shout outs in the videos. Check it out if you're interested. And if not, totally fine. Hope you keep enjoying this content. But yeah, bye bye. What's up, guys? So for today's video, I'm just gonna talk about a very basic but very important Steve counterplay, and that is when you have Steve in disadvantage, he's in the corner, he's in the air, he's off stage, whatever. You have to make him use down airs and side beats. Those are his best options. Disadvantage. They use iron though, which is very not a very limited resource, but can be a limited resource. And when you're fighting good Steves, they're gonna use that well hopefully. But the idea is, Steve is a character that in disadvantage, he struggles. He's slow in the air. Basically, his mobility is tied to either his side B or his up B. And most Steve's want to use side B because up B, unless he's going to the ledge, it's kind of laggy. Not something else to like go on stage with too often, unless he's doing like up B tech from ledge. But anyway, that leaves him using side B. And if he's above you, his options for landing are basically fast flare dodge, but he's very slow. Even with that, he can do like block landings, but a lot of uppers just beat that. And then he has down air, which is a very strong option to hit people with. And in order to showcase just how do you do that, let's look at MKLA versus Akola, where he destroys him in this set. Every time Akola is in disadvantage, Leo is really trying to bait out by pressuring Steve. He's trying to bait out these down airs and side beasts. It's like even here, you can see Steve's off stage. Leo immediately tries to pressure this area, forcing Akola to kind of respond with minecart. And then Leo is very aware that he's doing this, right? He's very aware he's jumping here. And he fast falls as soon as the minecart comes out. So he can evade it, burn some iron, and now Steve's in an awkward spot for his recovery. Gets hit there. Here, you see how he kind of went here and it looked like he was going to dash, but he stopped. But baits out Okola and using downer. Now Okola has no resources left. Okola doesn't have the threat of minecart anymore. Catching his landing shouldn't be too harsh. Also worth mentioning, this is a huge deal. Minecart is significantly buffed by gold. If he doesn't have gold, minecart's good. But it's a lot easier to challenge. Like, I would never recommend challenging Steve minecart with gold. But he doesn't have gold. Honestly, challenge him. Hit him out of the air. He is kind of slow in that, so it's a pretty good or risky word for you to be honest right see and also he's he's playing around the mind card right you know steve re wants that calls that out punish giving steve some distance calling that out punishing everyone knows respect mind card but when you watch leo play in particular you see him really putting emphasis on how do i make the steve use the mind card and then how does he exploit it afterwards and you notice notice when steve has gold leo isn't quite gonna go for like as much aggressive baits and challenges in the mind card if he does go for that kind of stuff it's much easier to get clipped randomly instead of kind of jumping off stage more aggressively if he hovered around this area where gold mind card can't quite hit him, or even if he just went to a ledge instead, he could have evaded the counter hit from the gold minecart while still pressuring it. It's all about scaring the Steve and recognizing, hey, you have gold, I have to bait out the minecarts but can't challenge you. You don't have gold, I can bait out the minecarts and also challenge them. Even with that said, he used all of his gold on minecarts, so now if Leo gets him in a bad spot, his minecart isn't that effective. You see this right here, right? See? No gold? Base at the down air, and you get the point. Be like Leo. Simple as that. You just have to more actively think about it type of things to do in this game. With this side, y'all, hope this was helpful like always. Catch y'all later.